Researchers believe a biological revolution enabling humans to experience everlasting youthfulness is coming. From news.com.au, it is likely the first person who will live to be a thousand years old is already alive today. This is according to a growing regiment of researchers who believe a biological revolution enabling humans to experience everlasting youthfulness is just around the corner. At the epicenter of the research is Aubrey de Grey, a Cambridge gerontologist and co-founder of the California-based Strategies for Engineered Negligible Science Research Foundation. The first thing I want to do is get rid of the use of the word immortality because it's enormously damaging. It's not just wrong, it is damaging, he told Motherboard. It means zero risk of death from any cause, whereas I just work on one particular cause of death, namely aging. Mr. DeGray said his research aims to undo the damage done by the wear and tear of life, as opposed to stopping the aging process altogether. If we ask the question, has the person been born who will be able to escape the ill health of the old age indefinitely? Then I would say that the chances of that are very high, he said, probably about 80%. To achieve longevity, DeGray is developing a therapy to kill cells that have lost the ability to divide, allowing healthy cells to multiply and replenish the tissue. Therapies that we are working on at the moment are not going to be perfect, he said. These therapies are going to be good enough to take middle-aged people, say people age 60, and rejuvenate them thoroughly enough so they won't be biologically 60 again until they are chronologically 90. That means we have essentially bought 30 years of time to figure out how to rejuvenate them when they are chronologically 90, so they won't be biologically 60 for a third time until they are 120 or 150. I believe that 30 years is going to be very easily enough time to do that. Mr. DeGray explained his technique for achieving eternal youthfulness is far more likely to be developed before the theories explored by other gerontologists that focus on preventing the metabolism from causing damage to the body. We will be able to keep one step ahead of the problem, and keep rejuvenating the same people as long as we like, he said. The big breakthrough in terms of publicity will be when we can take middle-aged mice in a laboratory and rejuvenate them. Once we can do it for mice, people are going to know it's only a matter of time before we can do it for human beings. So that's where I want to get to, and I think that we have a fair chance of getting there in six to eight years from now.